Uh, my name is Christy Hansen Anka, uh, and I just got married um, last year, so that's why I have the double names. I'm still <laughs> going through that transition. But I, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, uh, I grew my career in marketing, healthcare marketing, and then last September I quit my agency job and I started my own consulting firm. And I wanted to focus specifically on health and VR and AR technology. So I'm not a developer, but I am a strategist. And so I help companies um, find the right, you know, sort of experience for whatever they're trying to do and connect them with the developers that can actually execute it. So I kind of help guide that whole project through. Is this like the first event that you've ever been speaking at in VR or have you done this before or have you just been kind of like uh, in VR before? Yeah, in VR, this is the first time where I'm a guest speaker or a panelist or anything like that. At the Women in VR event, the first one, uh, I raised my hand to speak, you know, mm -hmm. and it was so strange that when all the eyes of the avatars turned on me, I still got that sort of nervous, I'm speaking in front of public <laughs> feeling, even yeah. though, you know, I'm safe in my living room. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, yeah, it, it's really crazy. Yeah. So I've spoken on panels in real life before, not, um, not specific to healthcare, maybe not specific to VR, but, um, but it's just, it's really interesting to be in VR speaking about VR. I think that's just amazing and it's great. And yeah, no, I think I think that's awesome too. So, do you feel like there's it's kind of like the same, like how everyone's staring at you? It's like pretty intimate, even though it's like you know people aren't really next to you. Right. So Pete, you still feel, you know, you still feel the crowd, but the benefit to doing it in VR is you don't see people on their phones or leaving. You know, you people could leave, but you don't really see them getting up and leaving. Uh, they're not really talking to each other, although you do get side conversations still. But in general, there's a really good focus. And I think that's one of the powerful things about VR. And when I think about it for health, there's the focus aspect where you have, uh, you have this you know, centralized all attention. You, know, you get some real good attention for half an hour of time, which is good for patient education and physician education and all that. But then you also use it as a distraction. So I know there are people that come to these events who maybe their home life isn't as great as they would like it to be. So they come into these other worlds um, to have that distraction.